Hey everybody, how many of you folks out there are like me and love to use the guitar volume pot uh, to manipulate our tone? I mean, that's a, that's a technique that goes back decades and decades, right? Uh, you know, playing into uh, maybe just a single channel amp just, you know, cranked up so it's on the edge of breakup or into uh, overdrive distortion. <clears throat> And, you know, instead of channel switching, we just simply manipulate our guitar volume to clean things up, which is sort of a signature of a lot of tube amps. And now modelers, right, who've, who've uh, managed to model those characteristics so well, such as the Line 6 Helix that I so love. Um, <clears throat> so I love doing that. And I found a lot of times in the studio, live, maybe it's just because I'm lazy. <laughs> I don't know. I really like to manipulate the volume control to just sort of bring the, the overdrive and gain down, clean things up, and then have that kind of boost right there. Well, the, the one problem with that is a lot of times is finding our, you know, our sweet spot. Uh, we may find it, you know, in one scenario, you know, maybe turn it up. And then we have a hard time getting right back to that point. What if I told you there's a new pedal out on the market that will do that for us? And this is a pedal I never thought I would necessarily need, but now I don't think I could live without it. I'm talking about the Gentleman Deluxe version 2.0 from my friends over at Fopstar Amplification. Fopstar is a small company. Um, these are all made, handmade by uh, a new friend of mine since last year, Drew Fobb. Drew is guitar tech to the stars. He's toured with, you name it, everybody, anybody. He's uh, currently a guitar tech for Smashing Pumpkins, for Whitesnake, uh, and the list goes on and on. Drew's a genius. He, um, he has some amplifiers, handmade amplifiers that are absolutely amazing. I had the honor and pleasure of being able to try one last year backstage at the Smashing Pumpkins show and I was blown away. He makes amazing, amazing stuff. You can check those out at his website, www.fopstar.com and I'll have that link below. But let's get back to the Gentleman Deluxe pedal. What this is is an attenuator pedal, but not the attenuator that you and I have grown accustomed to knowing the attenuator that we put as an output attenuator on our amp to keep you know a really loud volume uh, amp under control and tame it so we can maybe play it in our basement. This is actually an input attenuator, which you go, well, what's that for? Well, much in the way that we would roll our guitar volume around to manipulate how hard we're hitting the front end of an amplifier, this pedal does it for us and gives us a lot of settings that will allow us to recall a particular, let's say, volume pot state. But the really important thing is it doesn't mess with the tone. We don't lose any high end. It keeps the tone exactly as we would want it without, you know, sometimes on some guitars, we roll the guitar back and we lose some of the high end, right? We lose some of the presence in the mix. This is designed so it will not do that. So it also has another great feature, which is an effects loop built right into it. So we have two switches here. One is to control the attenuation and one is to foot switch the effects loop back in. So if we're going into our amp and we don't want to string together a line of effects and always be going through them, we now have a foot switchable effects loop we could add to the front of an amp, which when we think about it, that has a lot of benefits and a lot of features, right? So it's a dual purpose pedal. Let's talk a little bit about what's going on here. Well, we have an input and an output on the sides of the pedal, and then we have our send and return here. Uh, it's not written on the pedal, but the documentation that comes with the pedal is very clear about what everything does, and there's no, there's no um, problem in getting it set up. Now, the, the interesting thing is what we have here is this here foot switch. So the right of the pedal is the gentleman on off. So that's going to be the attenuator turning on and off. And then this other switch here is bypass. Now what's interesting about this, this is a purely passive pedal. It does not have to be powered, although it does have the ability to be powered by a 9 volt source. 
The only thing the 9 volt source does is it gives us these really nice, and you'll see it later when I get to play this for you and show it to you up close, uh, some illuminated rings around to know whether we're turned on or off. So very nice feature. It looks beautiful. It's super well constructed as well. Drew did an amazing job making these. Um, but it also tells us whether the pedals are turned on and off. So that's wonderful. So let's talk about these three things, our, our main knob here and our switches and what these do. So with both switches down, uh, the volume control here becomes active, okay? I'm kind of like looking off the sheet here. This is fairly new to me too. I want to make sure I'm getting you the information properly. So this is going to allow us to fine tune the attenuation, the amount of attenuation, kind of like turning our guitar volume up and down. But to further fine tune it, these switches can be used. So with both of these down, uh, as we turn it counterclockwise, okay? So uh, here we are full on. As we turn it counterclockwise, it's going to reduce the amount of signal hitting the front of the amp. Now with the, with the two switches down, uh, it's going to go from basically our guitar roughly, Drew says roughly from on 10, down if we attenuate all the way down to about if we turned our volume down to let's say six. Okay, fair enough. So we don't have a full range of motion here. It's just going to allow us to go from about 10 or from 10 to about six. So this is no attenuation and this is kind of like bringing our volume down to about six. Now it says with the right switch up, that being this one here, um, this is going to <clears throat> allow us to fine tune the attenuation even further. So this st setting starts from roughly five and a half all the way up to about four all the way down. Okay, so we have with this switch down, you know, 10 to six, roughly five and a half to four on our volume control on our guitar, okay? Uh, Drew mentions in the, in the uh, documentation that this is the most popular setting for cleaning up a slightly crunchy amp or to create a boost lead setting for a clean amp without changing your tone, just lowering the gain structure. So pretty interesting information. Now with both switches up, what that actually does, uh, doesn't make this active at all. Uh, this is a fixed attenuation. So when we switch it on, it's going to be like going from having our guitar volume on 10 and bringing it all the way down to about two or three. And he says, depending on your pickup output. So he's giving you ranges here. Um, and he says, this is the most popular setting for turning a higher gain single chan amp, channel amp into a two channel amp or to create a rhythm lead setting for a single high gain channel. So really neat stuff. Uh, like I said, I never imagined that, you know, somebody told me about this quickly. I would say, oh, okay, now that I've tried it, I don't know if I could live without it. And I think this is a very interesting pedal. Uh, just to give you the upfront information, the cost on this, and it's available through fobstar.com, uh, which is Drew's site, his online store, these are $150 now uh, US, so very reasonable price, especially for a handmade pedal that is constructed just beautifully. Let's now take a listen to what this can actually do. All right, so now I have, as you can see in the bottom corner, I have another camera set up here, just focused on the Fobstar settings, and this is gonna allow us to kind of see what this does in the real world. So here's my signal chain. I'm, I'm going through my Line 6 Helix. Um, I'm playing a preset. I'm on the lead snapshot of my Supro Vintage preset, which is a preset from my Vintage preset pack that's available in the Line 6 Marketplace, okay? So this is kind of the highest gain setting of that. So uh, although I have the, uh, the fob start in the chain, it's totally bypassed right now. So we're not hearing any effect from it at all. Um, and I'm just going into straight into the guitar input of the Helix with it, just like we would with an amplifier or any other situation. So I'm just treating the Helix as an amplifier in this. I'm not gonna manipulate anything inside of the Helix. So this is the tone without the fob star really doing anything. <laughs> Fairly distorted, not super high gain. But enough gain. Let's see if we can clean it up using that. So as we know, if I take my guitar volume knob on full and back that off, maybe do about five. We hear that as I put it back up to 10.
cleans up nicely. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to precisely know exactly where we're gonna go with the press of a foot switch? And that's what the Fopstar Gentleman Deluxe is gonna do for us. So let's take a look at this. Right now I have the two switches down. So this is going to go from, if I'm up here, what, sorry about my hand being in the way, it's gonna do that, but you'll get to see the settings anyways. So right now if I turn this switch on, I'm gonna run you through something really quick. This is the effects loop. What's gonna happen? <laughs> If I press that, all the signal goes away, okay? Um, that's because I have nothing in the effects loop. Drew mentions that if we just hook a cable up uh, in the loop from the uh, send to the return, it'll just allow that to work. But also we can just not turn it on if we don't have anything hooked up to it. That's the other solution to that, right? I'm not gonna really go through the effects loop in this video as I don't want this to go on too long, but it's a great, great feature with lots of possibilities. Uh, for adding, you know, an effects loop to the front of an amplifier, which allows us to maybe string some pedals together and not get any, you know, tone suck or what have you, um, being able to just bypass those pedals with one foot switch, right? Um, okay, but if we press this on now, that's the attenuation, okay? So the attenuation has a blue ring around it and the uh, effects loop has a red ring around it. So with this, volume up at 10, even when I turn this on, there shouldn't be a difference in sound. Where we should start hearing it is as we turn the attenuation down. So let's go to half. So this is, Drew says in the manual, that this is like turning our guitar volume down to six. So there we have a fair amount of gain. Just with the press of a foot switch, we get it like we've dropped our volume control back. Now, what if I turn this off and actually drop my volume control back? Compare that to the pedal. Sounds great. Okay, so let's go with the next setting where we put this switch up. Now, what this has us going from is with it off, again, no, no effect, but fully clockwise, it should bring our guitar volume down to about five and a half. is the tone isn't affected. We've still got the high end, the lows, everything is nice and even still. So. Beautiful stuff. And if I turn this all the way down, that should be more like the guitar volume being on and around four. Turn it off. Also, keep in mind, I'm not going to be editing the volume of this at all. So what you're hearing is the actual volume drop. And you notice it's really neat because we have a volume there. When we put this on, we don't 
don't lose a ton of volume, but we get less breakup in the overdrive. Okay, so let's turn this off again, and now let's go with it both switches up. Now that totally bypasses our attenuator volume, and this is going to go from when the pedal is off, our guitar volume on 10, to turning it on to our guitar volume on about two or three. Now, one last thing I want to say is I know there'll be a lot of folks out there, especially like, let's say, a Line 6 Helix user saying, well, couldn't I just program a gain block in that attenuates the signal before the amp? And, you know, uh, common sense would say, yeah, I could just do that. I tried it. And here's what happened. So let's let's take the FOB stars out of, out of the picture here now. Um, I think when I was doing this, I was set on this setting here. So guitar volume down to about four. So here it is without. <laughs> is I set up on my helix that gain block to drop the attenuation down as well before hitting the amp. Okay, so that's what this sounds like. Let's compare that to the tone of the FOB star at similar settings. So here it is again, this is the gain block in the helix. Here it is with it off. My first thing I notice is that the, the sound thinned out. Here we've got a nice bit of fatness to the sound. So while we got less gain, we also got less beef to it. I wasn't really happy with that. Let's listen to what the FOP pedal, uh, gentleman pedal does. Do you notice how the tone is better? It's fatter, it's creamier. than just using some sort of digital attenuation in the Helix. So let's compare those. Here's the Helix attenuation. Here's the Gentleman attenuation. So beautiful, beautiful stuff and a really well designed, well thought out pedal that I'm blown away by and it's addictive to have. And I, I can see myself adding one of these to my pedal board uh, that, you know, on some, use with my stomp, which I use live a lot of times. I love this and it just gives another very quick way to access more tones, even on, even on top of what we might program into our, you know, Helix or Stomp or whatever other modeler we use. It just gives us another tool at our disposal to create great tone. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope that was helpful. Um, so go check out, first of all, I'd like to thank my good friend Hoogie from WB Gear who actually uh, was able to get this pedal to me to try out. Thanks so much for that. And a big thanks to Drew as well for making it. Uh, 
please go check out Drew's website, which is fopstar.com, F-O-P-P-S-T-A-R.com. I'll have that link in the description below. And put your order in for one of these. Uh, like I said, I believe they're $150 US. I think money well spent and actually very inexpensive for a hand-built pedal by a small builder. So excellent stuff. Um, so thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you enjoyed the, looking at this pedal and I hope I was able to sort of portray how much of, I think, a game changer this is. And I think it's a really useful pedal. So thank you guys for tuning in. I will be back soon with some more content. Thanks for stopping by. Ciao for now.